Hello y'all and welcome back to my channel. Hello faves. Today I'm going to be showing y'all the rows that I do depending on if my braids are large, medium or small or medium large. Also that blow dryer that I was using in the beginning, y'all got to get that. I'll link it down below for y'all. We're going to go ahead and get started. I am also going to be doing one-on-one -on -one classes. I'll link that down below if you ever want to book one with me in Houston, Texas one-on-one -on -one knotless braid classes or if you want to learn how to do locks as well i'm going to be doing one-on-one -on -one classes the link will be down below so let's get into the sizes so right here i always part the hair usually from ear to ear right straight across in the back like from the top of the ear to the other top of the ear i always make that line no matter what size i'm doing as y'all can see, I'm parting it in half. That's gonna make, you know, two sections. I usually only do two sections if I am doing medium large. So I split that one in half if I'm doing medium large, depending on the client. But most of the time, I will be doing two sections for medium large. So when I have large knotless braids, I always have that full section just for large braids it's going to be that entire row from ear to ear on the bottom below that will only be that one whole row disclaimer this rarely happens but i might put two depending on the person but rarely that happens now let's look at the medium large i always have two sections that are going to be um under the ear after i parted from ear to ear at the top it's going to be two sections for medium large for my medium braids i usually always put three sometimes i do only put two it depends on the person some people have smaller heads and napes so sometimes i just put two but all the time i'm gonna put three now for small braids i'm gonna put four rows under the ear that's gonna be for small braids only just for small braids i'm gonna put four rows so yeah, now we're getting into the parting. I'm just giving like myself a draft um, of a straight line that's going from the top of the ear to the other top of the ear, just getting it really straight. So for this client specifically, I'll be doing medium large on her hair. As you can see, when I part, I move things out the way. I move it up, I move it down, I grip it. I make sure that I'm getting everything crisp and clean and I can see what I'm doing. After I make my draft, I go ahead and apply my gel. I am using Pure O Natural hair gel today, and I really do like it. It's like a mixture between Shine and Jam and Lock and Gel, which are the two favorite gels that I like have right now. Those are my two favorites, but the Pure O Natural is like a combination of the two. But I still do like to, you know, do a little braid down with the Shine and Jam as well. But the Pure O Natural was, you know, it gave what, you know, it needed to, honestly. I was really feeling it. But I'm still, I'm not gonna leave my shiny jam alone. I can't, I can't leave it alone. And of course the Pure O Natural gel will be linked down below. I hope, I think I'm saying it right, the Pure O Natural, yeah. You guys will see it down below. It'll be linked, the gel that I'm using. Um, that's That was the only gel I used for this video. Also for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I insert the human hair to my knotless braids because there's like two different ways I noticed that I do it and I see other people do it. So I just wanted to make a video that would just specifically show the two ways to insert human hair curls. So they're gonna have a slight difference. For this one, I'm just literally inserting the root of the human hair to the middle piece, that middle piece right there, and I'm just gonna continue to braid. As you can see, I'm braiding it down, but once you go ahead and look at the hair, it's kind of like behind the braid but you know, you can see it cause I pushed it with my hand, but it's like kind of behind the braid. But there's also another method of where you can use the entire piece in the middle, like add it as a regular piece of hair. You can add it to the middle and you can add it to the right piece. So see how it's like between those two pieces? I'm gonna literally braid it down. And I noticed I kind of like this method better. Once I braid it down, you can see the human hair stick out more to the front instead of the back. I know it's not really a big, big, big difference, but this will just, you know, ensure that you have two different methods on how you want to have your human hair inserted. See how the 
piece is just already laying to the front. I like that. So those are the two methods that I wanted to show you guys. When we finish the back, we need to do the front. So for large, I like to do three rows. For medium large, I like to do four rows. For medium, I like to do five rows. And for small, I like to do six rows in the front. Now, when I say six rows and you know all those rows in the front, I am really saying the rows that are gonna be beside the middle part. So you're gonna have a middle part once you finish out the, you know, the hair below the ear. So you're gonna start to put a middle part in the front. You have to put a middle part in the front to separate and make sure everything is symmetrical. Now, when I say those rows, I'm meaning like from ear all the way to the other ear. I'm not saying rows just for the entire head. I'm saying the, that picture that I inserted of, you know, the front of her head, I'm saying from where her middle part starts and then to the left side of her head that we saw, she's gonna have that many rows on each side of the middle part. Okay, stay with me. I hope that sums a lot of things up for y'all. I know this video was pretty short, but I really wanted to touch base on that because a lot of people ask me that question. If you have more questions, make sure you comment down below. I know you guys, you know, have questions and want detailed videos on things. You can also become a member on my YouTube channel to get the exclusive videos. One-on-one -on -one classes are available. And don't forget, I also have some videos on my Shopify where you can purchase videos that you probably, you know, want to learn or want to see how I do things. But the one-on-one -on -one classes in person are going to be available. So make sure you book that. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions and just watch the end of this video. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye. That's my song, but that did to beat up, but that did to sleep. You ain't beat, but you know you beat to me, he beat his me. I need chicks, I take that nigga, I take that nigga, he like a gay, he can't beat that on my hip. I just need a sip, cause shawty got me shuss, got me plays a fall, yeah. Boy, I get that bitch up, yes, bitch up, yes. I'm my house, give a fuck up on my face, on my face, she can't be touched, yeah. Bitch, she won't switch.